guys. How are you? Um, sorry, I'm a little bit late. Um, sorting things out, you know. So many things to do. <laughs> um, good morning. I'm trying to tag a few people. Um, how do I do that again? Hmm. Hi, good morning. Um, ah, okay. And then... Okay, good morning everybody. Hi. <laughs> Did you guys sleep okay? Um, I haven't got that bad hay fever today. I only have itchy eyes. This is like my hay fever log diary. <laughs> um, because my friends told me that um, one of my one of my friends put some Vaseline um, inside a nostril. That's horrid, but actually it works. So. Thank you, Bernadette, for telling me that. I messaged her and complained about my terrible hay fever. Okay, so today we are going to do finish our night scene, um, the one that we painted, and we're going to paint a rainbow tree. So that will be fun. Um, oh, Gwen, that's a bad dream, dream about lots of ants. <laughs> okay, I'm going to switch over and um, see you on the other side. Bye! Okay, whoop! Right. Okay. Sorry, checking messages. <laughs> How professional. Okay, so um, if your paper curls like me, it's easily fixed. What you do is you just gently dump on the other side of the page, very, very little, okay? And then um, you put it in between a book, okay? And keep it there for a long while. But I am not that bothered, so let's go. So you can use black or dark blue, okay? I'm gonna use uh, quite black today. Um, la, 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 la. So we're going to draw houses. So go for it, guys. You don't need me to tell you how to do this, right? Well, anyway, actually, I'll just do a quick recap just in case. Um, and I'm trying to look for my little scrapbook thing. And I just drop everything on the floor and I just drop everything on the floor okay I found my book so I'm thinking so that's a piece of our paper or whatever your paper is I'm going to do a little um, hills like that, okay? Hi, thank you for joining me, everybody. I hope you can have a go, okay? And then you can start drawing houses, okay? Like that. It can be city or buildings, but I'm going to do like country houses. <laughs> because I dream to have one and then just little windows go bigger than what I've done here because then it's easier for you to paint and then um, you know you can use like a thicker white paint white paint like acrylic or gouache to paint this, the moon on top um, just purely because I didn't paint mine I should have left some space and paint my moon or something but or it could, could be like a moonless night okay so let's go Okay. 
Okay, let me see if I can adjust my camera a little bit. Whee! Yeah, I've decided that this is going to be my side of um, the way I'm going to go for it. So, that's going to be my shape. And I'm just going to gently wet that down. I don't like harsh line like so. And I'm going to fade it down to nothing. Okay. Um, if you want to, you can use a pen here as well. Okay, pen, marker pen. That would be super cute as well. Um, you know, those micron pen. Um, super, super cute. Okay. Or if you want trees and um, you can have na natural scape instead if you like. But mine's gonna be super sketchy. Okay, like so. Hi guys. And then I'm going to move on to the next one. So obviously, house will be smaller, further ahead of the hills, okay? Go as close as you dare to your wet ink <laughs> or wet paint. Ah! Too near. Okay. We can work out on that bit later. And this one is going to be a couple of houses just because up the hills no one can't be bothered to go up. It's more expensive but you have to have a car. <laughs> Okay, like that. Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Just doing some weird watercolor, just for fun. No technical ability involved, guys. Just for fun. Honestly, there's no need. I'm going to give it a chimney. Okay, and the next one up...
Okay. Like so. And this one's gonna be like a one big posh house. <laughs> mm. Or you can have a tree, you know, or whatever. Okay. I don't know how houses um, stay up on the hill. They still level, right? I think so. Can't be wonky. Some might be. I don't know. I haven't got a country house. So this is my dream home guys, up there in the hill. <laughs> With a wooden cladding. I should have done a tiny small, smaller house there actually because it's further away guys. Don't make my mistake. Okay. Like so. You can go up and up if you like to. Um fun. Promise ya. <laughs> So I'm coming in just to fill in the little gap. Okay, like that. It's quite cute. <laughs> I think three, I think I'm done with number three. Okay, three is good. And I'm going to come in with white paint. So we can find my white paint good morning everybody thank you for joining me just painting away the stress really um, I know we stay in the house it's the first world problem that I'm still complaining but it's just hearing lots of um, people who are dying and stuff so upsetting okay so I'm gonna use um you can use white acrylic or white um, watercolor, but I'm going to go hard or go home. I'm going to use white gouache, okay? The gouache is basically still water-based paint, and um, it's classed as watercolor, but there's one more ingredient in it. It's chalk. So um, everything is matte and solid. That's okay, Julie. You said you're a bit late, but don't worry. It's okay. No worries. So I'm just going to use a bit of white gouache. It's so much fun gouache to, to paint because um, it, it acts the same as watercolor, but um, it's matte and um, no dimension. Once you paint, everything just flatten out, okay? So this is like perfect for painting on um, colored paper. It's awesome, like fantastic, you know. Um, no, this is like... Um, this is plasticky surface so it won't work but if you have like a matte colorful surface uh, it works really well okay like black paper or brown paper something like that okay so I'm gonna come in actually I'm probably not gonna go precise today I'm gonna flick it so use a, your white watercolor like what we've done before with the galaxy night sky okay so we're going to flick it. Like that, okay? So you can use like um wet acrylic as well, okay? Whoops, sorry. I keep knocking my tripod. And um I am going to go for um, I'm gonna give it a little light so you can use your um, yellow watercolor as well or um, if you have some marker pens you can use marker pen okay I'm going to um, 
go for I'm gonna paint some light into my window because I am one of those night owl that stay up at night okay <laughs> Oh, it's still early on in the evening. Everybody's still awake. Okay. I think I'm gonna, um, don't think there should be any door. I'm gonna shut the door. <laughs> Let's shut all the doors. Because it looks like a horror movie. The house, like, open their mouth. Oh, that look. Probably not a good idea to go over that now. I'm gonna have to go over the whole lot. How's, um, how are we getting on? Oh, um, Julie, you said you're up late at night. Me too. Me too. And, you know, if your ground is a bit too pale once dried up, you can come back in and um, add another layer because watercolor is, um, you know, that's the nature of the beast. Like so. Okay, and um, I'm probably going to go ahead and paint the moon actually because um, it's a bright sky today with lots of, lots of um, stars. I'm going to give it a moon, but it's going to be a crescent moon for me today. Okay. And um, I'm going to give it a star constellation. Um, hold on, let me look at my reference because I'm an Aries. My birthday is coming up soon. And I'm going to have to celebrate on the lockdown. Um, so I'm going to do an Aries star constellation. Feel free to do whatever you want, okay, with your constellation. Um, I'm gonna do it up here. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna do a little link. E like that. Cute! Okay, and um, you can even add like a sparkly stars if you want to. Um, let's do something fun and cute guys light-hearted okay and um, if you want to you can come in and highlight your houses if you want to if you don't don't okay you can add more details to your house um, whatever you want to do okay but I think for me I would probably need to go black blacker on my houses it's a bit pale now I think I just went too diluted on that particular house look Okay, something like that, but um, if it is faintish, it gives you the um, impression that's quite far away, yeah, um, so that's how, how, how you go on about it, okay, there you go, so that's done for our um, night scene painting, something cute and whimsical, or you can make it really dark, add some trees or whatever, okay? There you go. Right, we're gonna move on to the next painting, which is our main painting today. Oh, I wanna show you my black book. If, um, if someone found this book, I will give you <laughs> one million pounds worth of Thai green curry. Okay, so I love my moon face. I'm obsessed with moon face. So I've been gilding my page. Yes, Rin, that's a good idea. Just been gilding my pages. And, um, you know, just some kind of weird ideas of my moon's face. I'm obsessed 
I'm, I'm a moon person. Okay, next. We're gonna do a lovely cute tree, okay? I'm um, trying to find a blank space, okay. So our tree, go as big as you can onto your page, okay? And our tree is gonna be almost like the tree of life kind of, um, hi Jody, um, the tree of life kind of um, idea, okay? Let me just rub this off so it's not distracting and I don't want to waste a piece of paper. Okay, so that's supposedly, that's my size of the page, okay? We're gonna go from the ground. You can give it a root if you want to, go for it if you want to, okay? And then we're gonna go um, a, a, a rounded tree kind of thing, okay? I'm gonna just give you some kind of rough idea to know what we're expecting today first, okay? Don't go too crazy with the branch because what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw lots of leaves on this parameter of the tree, okay? Any shape or form, it doesn't matter. It can be lots of different shapes that we're studying, okay? And it doesn't have to be connected, okay? But we're gonna follow the shape supposedly. I'm gonna draw this like an imaginary circle. Imaginary circle, okay? We're not drawing that. But that's gonna be where we're gonna paint our petals, I mean leaves, okay? So, um, first of all, um, it's going to be, um, if you're going to do rainbow, just run the color of the rainbow up, okay? So a bit of, right, let me just draw lots of leaves first, okay? We're not drawing though, it's just going to paint in, okay, without any pencil. And um, it doesn't have to be, I saw someone did this on um, embroidery and I thought, oh, that would be nice to um, do it in watercolor, okay? Or you can do four season petals and leaf, okay? So we're gonna do this, lots and lots and lots of leaves, okay? I'm just gonna go really quickly here now. You can have another branch here if you like. Okay? Like so, okay? But you can go for like, um, from dark green. So this area can be dark green, but we're not, we're not gonna paint in solid block, we're going to paint individual leaves, okay? Leaf, leaf, like that, okay? I'm just kind of trying to give you an idea. And then we can go up to lime green. Okay. And then we can go up to yellow. Okay, all these individual leaves will be painted in yellow. And then what other color can move up to? Maybe light orange, okay? And then red, maybe? Yeah, red. Okay, supposedly that's individual leaves. And then um, brown? Yeah, brown. When it goes dead. Okay. Like that. So that's going to be our tree. Or you can go for rainbow. So you can go for um, purple first. Purple, um, sorry, that's blue. <laughs> So purple, blue, and then green, and then yellow, and then orange and red, okay? So you can do, you can do that as well, okay? You can do your rainbow tree, okay? You can do your rainbow tree or um, autumn four season tea, tree. So let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. All right. Right. So we're going to have a brown tree trunk, but um, by all means, knock yourself out, whatever color you like. Okay. Just go for it, but I'm going to go for brown. I'm mixing my brown. Don't let me just bring that onto the screen. And again, um, that might be too, too 
too reddish brown but that's okay i think that might be my base color okay so test on the piece of paper again Woo. okay that's a good brown it's like a medium bare bark brown okay right so go quick and work on wet paint okay And work quickly. And um, while the paint is still wet, I'm gonna come in with darker brown. Okay, like really dark brown, and add some dark color on the edges. Okay. Just to give it a bit of definition. Make sure you don't do too many um too many tree branches because um the main thing is going to be our leaves okay guys just adding some um darker color on um my tree just to give it a bit of a definition okay like so all right how are we getting on while I'm waiting for you guys to um, finish I am going to mix my green I need a lime green first of all well a fresher green and lime green okay I'm terrible and having a tough time keeping my palette clean. I keep dipping it into um, my paint with strong colors. <gasps> terrible. But you know, that's life. I can just clean it up, okay, with a piece of tissue and just add a bit of paint, I mean water, onto my paint and just gently clean it out, okay? And that's good as new, okay? Michelle, are you too? Yeah, okay. You said you're having trouble keeping your paint clean. Okay. And um, I think I have my lime green. I'm going to go with darker green first of all, though. So, are you guys ready for um, our first set of leaves? Um, so, if you want to go rainbow, just go crazy, okay? <laughs> let me test the piece of paper. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's go. So, basically, the leaves are not going to be connected to the tree at all. It's just a, um, an idea of it, okay? gonna fill around it like that and um, if you want it to be a bigger leaf go for it or you can have a different type of leaves okay doesn't matter okay guys it doesn't matter and if you want to have gappy leaves go for it little leaves bigger leaves but we're going to just go easy on um, our first color. And if you want to um, do other um, colors, just make sure you divide the area that you paint the leaves evenly. Okay? So I'm just going to leave it like that. Maybe, maybe a bit more. Yeah. 
like that. That's cute. Okay, um, I might do a a fern here. Like that, okay? But remember to keep it in shape of circle. And if you want to, you can um, draw a line, really light, fainted line, just so you know that this is going to be your circle. Okay? So I've just drawn a bit of line, okay? Hi Katie, no worries, join me later, love you. Okay, and um, some leaves can be big. It's quite relaxing, just fill in the page with um with the leaves and you know there's no right or wrong so really guys just do it I think that's pretty good for the first color okay and then I'm going to move on to the next color, which is my lime green. Okay. So, again, fill in. Wow, that's like um, way, way too lime. <laughs> okay, tone it down a touch. That's what happens when you don't test your paper. Okay. Yeah. How we all doing? Anyone can do this, guys. There's no technical painting whatsoever. Just fill in the page, okay? Fill in the page. Enjoy it have fun with your pigment and I'm gonna leave some gap there for the next um, color because it will give you that kind of gradation look okay and it doesn't have to be even on both sides honestly guys no right or wrong here and I can assure you um, our trees will all be so different when we finish this just like us in real life <laughs> okay right and uh, what I'm gonna do is while the first layer of paint still wet I'm just gonna gently drop that color the, the second color into the edge of my um, of my older leaves on the darker green just so you kind of feel that it's kind of um, blending to each other. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to go in with a darker green and I'm just going to blend in, you know, um, into my lighter green as well. I hope you find this relaxing. It doesn't have to be every single leaf, okay? Just just a bit. <laughs> okay? And then next, I'm going to go for yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna do this yellow. It's like a lemon yellow. But you know, you choose whatever yellow you like. No no right or wrong, okay? Again, just keep filling in your page. Grow your tree.
Okay. Hi Ellie. Hi Paula. Hi Rachel. I'm just waving at people. Waving. Waving. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, just gonna come in quickly because I want to blend definitely blend this um, yellow in with a bit of green. And, um, you know, feel free to use different shape of leaf as well. Um, don't be stuck to just one type of leaf, okay? And um, I'm going to come into the green and add a bit of yellow at the tip of just some of them, not all, okay? Just some. And then I'm going to go in with my green and drop some color into my yellow leaves. Just to give it a bit of a interesting blending ombre gradation feeling to your painting. Um, but this design, you can definitely do it with a um, pen and pencil. It might be really relaxing actually. Okay, like that. All right. And the next one, I'm going to do orange, orange, orange. Okay, which orange do I want? Mm. I'm running out of space for my, um, my palette. I've got an extra palette somewhere. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to work with it. That will teach me for not um, cleaning my palette from the night before. Okay. Uh, um, this one, I think I'm going to... I don't want to have like that as a... Um, you know, my tree branch here. Um, I don't want it to be a divide for my color. So I'm going to add a bit of yellow here, actually. There, that's better. I think. Me think, me think. Don't forget, some leaves can be big and some can even be just a dot. Yeah, because it's a relaxing type of painting. It's not, it's not botanical, botanically correct. <laughs> Is that a non-word? And I'm going to drop a bit of orange into my, my yellow leaf as well just to give it a bit of a gradation extra might add a bit more of my yellow leaves actually I quite like it do whatever you think right for you okay it's your tree no one else Okay, I'm back to orange. Just because I enjoy this gradation look so much, that's why I want more yellow. Cute! Okay, going back to my orange. How are we all doing? How are you getting on? I hope you find this useful for you. And your tree doesn't have to be perfectly circle, okay? It just, because we are not perfect, guys. No one is perfect. Just filling the space. 
I'm loving the orange. It's my favorite color at the moment, actually. And you can see that I'm just following the petals going up like so, okay? Um, going up now. The petal, I mean, the leaves are pointing upwards in a minute now. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Just go for what you think suitable, okay? And I'm on my last top, top branch. I'm just going to break a bit of orange above it. Um, so that it's not too... Um, To, it doesn't look like I, I've done it on purpose kind of thing. So I'm going to go in quickly and drop some red onto my orange. Because it's nice. <laughs> no other reason. <laughs> this is just a standard um, bright red. Okay. Just adding a tiny bit to the tip of my um, my top top couple of layers of my leaves, okay? And then I'm going with red red um, leaves now. Okay. Joanne, are you painting along as well, Joanne? Or are you just watching today? Okay. And now see if um orange will work if I drop into the red. Yeah, it works. Just adding a bit of orange blending to the bottom of my leaves. Of the red ones. Okay, and um, I'm going to add brown now to that top. You can leave it as a love heart. Oh, it's cute. Ooh, ooh, shall I do it? I might do it. Mm. Okay, I'm going to leave mine as a love heart. That was accidental, but it's a happy accident. So I'm going to add more petal underneath here to make it a bit pointier of my heart shape. Okay. Cute! I love it! Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Don't go crazy now, Mona. <laughs> Telling myself. <laughs> Never know when to stop. And then a few more leaves and the shape is gone. 
Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. Yay! I'm definitely gonna will. Oh, this is successful. I didn't expect it to be successful. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling all giddy now. I'm just gonna add a bit of a... I don't know, I should have just stopped there, right? But you know me. Yeah, we're done. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to leave it as a heart. And once my paint is dried, I'm going to go in and um, clean all my, you know. Oh, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. <gasps> help. Take the rubber away from me. No, mm -mm. it's not going to happen. I'm going to do it. No, I can't do that bit. I think this green, I need a bit more of definition. Um, so I might re-wet it. And add some more different colour to the tip of my, my greens. Because it looks a bit anemic. Or one-dimensional. I'm being judgmental for my, to myself now. <laughs> But because the paint is already dry, the first layer, so um, it's, you know, you have to work a bit harder um, to get it back to... Do you like my instrumental music? <laughs> my lift music? Or shopping center music? Oh, that makes me miss Bangkok. They have loads of these kind of music in the um, in the shopping mall. Look at Prada and all that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mel. How are you, love? Um, so here we go. Um, this is my happy tree. My contribution for today for everybody, and um, my nightscape, and that's my house, the highest in the hill. And it's got an agar in it as well. Yeah, my dream to have an agar. And um, flagstone floor. Um, not low beam, I want high beam. And um, the loft converted to be a, um artist loft. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> I'm going to switch around so you can see my mug before I go but guys what do you think oh my god I've been researching um, what to do in my hair <laughs> um, I think um, I think I should just go like this okay I think I should okay guys um, I already got my um, feathering blade out for hair cut so i've been feathering the front because you know when the hair's gone too long it's lost that kind of shape so um i have been already and i've done my best to bring the front you know the back of my hair to the front but i really do not want to look at the back of my hair it's absolutely disgusting it's like outgrown colors look at it ah! but guys what about this, 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 this. Mm, what do you think? Um, it's a yes or a no. Emma, I'm thinking about cutting my own hair, but I'm scared. Look, about here. <gasps> and then fringe. A fringe going up. Fringe going up. <gasps> oh no, hold on. Oh, this guy huh do I look like a douchebag <laughs> no because um I would look like my dad I need that fringe to soften the fe feature of my face because oh otherwise I will look like my dad honestly if I have a comb over my dad hasn't got a whole comb over by the way <laughs> Gwen no um I would love a blunt cut bob, a blunt bob, but there's no way you can give yourself a perfect, perfect precision hair cut um, in that kind of length because it just need to hit just right above your shoulder 
and it's quite hard to keep I think so I'm gonna just leave it <laughs> okay guys so um babe if I do a ponytail on my hair and then I've seen loads on YouTube guys the one that you know when they cut and then this bit is like this short babe this short <laughs> definitely look like my dad that is like my worst nightmare okay because um my dad's nickname is number five and when I was little they call me mini number five please <laughs> I can't <laughs> Okay, um, I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow, we're going to paint Peony. Um, so, I'll see you tomorrow. Namasate. Love you all. And um, enjoy the sunshine. I'm going to put loads of Vaseline up my nose. Just my nose. And then I'm going to go outside and sit outside. Let's see how... Oh, and the uh, swimming goggles because I've got my itchy eyes on. Super itchy eyes. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> How do I stop this? I'm supposed to be able to stop it. <laughs> oh, God. That doesn't work. Do it again. <laughs> Bye.